Hi everybody, I had an interesting question on one of my videos the other day about how to um, stop wolves, uh, bears and zombies spawning in on your server, whether that be a community server for Xbox or PlayStation or PC, or maybe even a local server. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So I'm going to be doing it via the web browser on a Nitrado server, but the ideas are exactly the same for a local server. So you want to go into the web interface of your server, so you would click there. This will then take you into um, the dashboard for your server. And you want to come down and you want to click on the file browser part of your server. This will bring you into the file browser. Now, depending on whether you're on console or PC, you're going to have to dig to different areas. So on a PC server, so we, we click on standalone. And what we're interested in is scrolling down. You won't see all these ats. Or these are all mods. You won't see these on the console. And you want to scroll down till you get to uh, the missions. And you want to click on the missions. And then this is basically whether your server is Chernerus, Livonia, which is Enoch, or on PC we have some other choices. Now this is a Chernerus server, so to click on daisyoffline.chernerus. Then we get into this folder, and then we want to get into the DB directory, so we click on DB. Now within the DB directory, there's there's basically two ways that we can we can do this. Two ways we can turn off um, zombies and uh, wolves and bears. So we're going to look at the probably the simplest way first. And the simplest way is in globals.xml. So you can either um, download that so you can use it on your own PC, uh, make a backup and then re-upload it, or you can edit it directly in the web browser. Obviously, be very careful not to make any mistakes. I'd highly recommend you make a download backup first. If you click on it you'll then go into this file here, sorry, this file here. Um, I'll put a link in the description below the video to Bohemian Interactive's official explanation of Dave's uh, globals.xml, but like with most of the things in the official wiki, it doesn't explain it that well. Um, but within the globals.xml, um, if you look at the top, we see we have this line here. Variable name equals animal max count, type equals zero value, which is 200. Ignore the type equals zero, what we're interested in is the value equals 200. So this is saying to the game, well, saying to the server, never spawn in more than 200 animals at the same time. And you might say, well, that's loads, isn't it? Yeah, but imagine you had like a 60 or 100 person server with people wandering around. There's going to be lots of wolves and bears and goats and sheep and cows spawning in, isn't there? But too many and the performance of the server would drop. So you'd have low FPS. So if you want to get rid of all of the animals, apart from ambient ones, which I'll just explain in a second, uh, change that to zero. And then you'll have no wolves, you'll have no um, bears, you'll have no cows, you'll have no goats. You'll still have the ambient ones, which I think is just a hen, um, because they spawn in a slightly different way. So unfortunately, you'll still have hens with this. And also, you'll have got rid of all the domestic animals, like the cows and the sheep and, and, and things like that. So they'll all be gone. <laughs> but set that to zero and, and that will do that now if we go down to the bottom you'll see we have zombie max count and it's exactly the same here we just change the value to zero if we want to get rid of all of the zombies so that's the easiest way to do it you just save it and restart um, a <coughs> excuse me got a bit of a tickly cough um, a more um, focused way of doing it where we're just going to turn off the things we want is to go into the events.xml so if you click on uh, events.xml, you'll go into this file here. Um, and events.xml is, is, is it easy to understand? When you've worked on it a lot, it, it, it is. But basically what this is, it's telling the server, telling the game, for example, if we go down one to, what's a good one? So animal cow. So this is the event that we can see here. In fact, if I go full screen, do we get all of it? most of it so it's saying with animals you've got the nominal, nominal number you've got the min and the max lifetime um, what should actually spawn in and what we're interested in is this line here active equals one so active one means yes the event should happen if it's zero it means the event doesn't happen so if we want to turn off wolves and bears but leave the other animals on all we need to do is for example with animal bear just go to active change that change that to zero and then you would save and restart I want bears on my server so I'm going to change that back so if we scroll down animal cow, animal deer, animal goat animal pig, animal roe deer animal sheep, animal wild boar animal wolf, here we go so again get rid of wolves change that to zero 
and save and uh, upload. Now, you could disable zombies this way as well. So you could go through and disable, uh, you know, change from active from one to zero for all the zombie different events, but there's quite a few of them. So I would recommend not disabling zombies that way, but I would recommend disabling zombies in the globals.xml, uh, just like we said with the uh, zombie max count value there, changing that to zero there. Um, plus, it means it's much easier when you come back and you want to turn zombies back on again to just change one setting there. And then if you want to change, you know, put your wolves and your bears back on, it's much easier to do that in events.xml rather than changing all the, I don't know, I think there's probably a dozen different types of zombie events that, that fire off. So there we go. So you um, save, restart your server, and those changes should start to take effect. Um, yes, because actually I did want to add, what, one of the problems with um, uh, disabling zombie events is that you get, uh, zombies appearing in things like helicopter crashes don't you and with police cars and with the trains so you'd have to disable those as well um, so that's why it's much better to disable zombies here than it is in the events that XML. right okay so hopefully you found that video useful if you have hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon